Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday, February 18th, and I thought it would be fun to spend the day together. I haven't vlogged in a minute. Actually, that's a lie. The vlog, the video that's going live today is like a get ready with me slash vlog, but I'm talking like full day vlog. Like, I haven't done it in a minute. So, we're gonna do a vlog today, a little spend the day with me Sunday kind of vlog. I have some stuff on the agenda. Um, I for sure wanna go to TJ Maxx. I think that's the first stop. Y'all really like the TJ Maxx shop with me kind of thing that I did um, during Vlogmas. So we're gonna do that again. And I really just wanna see like what's new, what's popping at TJ Maxx because if you're on a TikTok like me, you already know girl you already know like tj maxx is where it's at that's where all the girlies be at so yeah that's the first stop also those um new like finery perfumes like the pistachio one and some other ones those dropped today at target so i'm like should we do like a little target run even though i was just at target yesterday but should we do a little target run I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see where the day takes us. It's currently twelve thirty. Um, I dropped Chloe off at the vet this morning, so they're probably gonna call me like in the next two hours to come get her. So we gotta figure out how to schedule that in our day. But anyway, the reason this stuff is sitting here in front of me—if you're wondering, like, girl, why you got scent beads and detergent—because of TikTok. I saw that Walgreens had all of this stuff for like $1.99 and I used the Arm & Hammer, I don't know if y'all can see it, I used the Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. This is like my go-to, the one with the Oxy. Smells good, smells clean. Yeah, it gets the job done. I really like it. Um, I usually get like the big one. And so these were on sale for like $1.99 at Walgreens. I got four of them and when I got there, I was a little disappointed that they were so small, but it, it does 21 loads. Um, and yeah, I got four of them because I'm like, I literally just bought laundry detergent yesterday, the big one. But whenever it runs out, I can just pour these into the big one. You know, Dante ordered some too, so <laughs> yeah. And then the scent beads, like, hello, these are full size and these are $1.99. So hopefully this vlog goes up before the sale ends because it ends next saturday um but if not i don't know what to tell y'all because i'm probably gonna post it on my instagram story and y'all don't follow me on instagram so yeah <laughs> anyway so that's what that is um before we leave this is like a chatty intro but before we leave i have been feeling like really eh about everything i guess i guess it was like winter blues and honestly, I'm so tired of the cold. Like, I think this might be the last day of the cold for us here. Um, it's supposed to warm up like 80s this, this week coming up. So fingers crossed we can start getting into some spring teens, okay? But I really was just over it. And I was like, you know what? Let's spring up the house. Like, let's add some color. I've been wanting to add color to the house. So I went to Target yesterday and I actually think I vlogged it. Yeah, I, I kind of vlogged yesterday, but don't worry, you won't see it. Um, so I'm gonna just show y'all now the stuff that I got. I got this little wreath, which is really cute. It has like these colorful eggs in there. Love it, think it's so cute. Um, I got these tulips from Trader Joe's yesterday, add some color. Let me bring y'all around. I got these dish towels. Can you see? Wait, let me bring y'all. I got this cute little kitchen rug. Love it. Adds a pop of color. And then I got these dish towels. Cute little colorful dish towels. It came in a set of two. This one and this one. Cute floral springy eastery vibes um these were in a two pack for five dollars the little wreath was five dollars and then i also got this tray i got this cute little tray has like little flowers it matches the little 
what do you call these dish towel set so i got this and yeah i just set it up in the kitchen because i need some color i need spring to be sprung by now you know like yeah so that's some little home updates um i want to figure out how to incorporate more like springy stuff into like the living room and the dining room so maybe we might find some stuff while we're at tj maxx today we'll see um but yeah and then i also have these cute little bunnies right here this one i got these last year at target they're just really cute um and then there's a smaller one on the other side so yeah that's what's happening around the house but let's go ahead and head out to um tj maxx and stuff get our day going because yeah the time is flying today all right i'm in tj maxx um it's i don't know i can't say it's bad but i can't say it's good so far i did get some beauty products that were in the case and i had them set up to the front so i'll show y'all those um the jewelry section wasn't that great but let's shop and see what we can find it's kind of busy in here in the candle section sally it's not popping off today it's not cutting usually this brand has really good candles and they smell pretty good if you can find a good one and they last long but they don't have any good ones today so this section is a must i'm in the back section they don't really have much but they have this cute little ghani cool bag and towel for 100 bucks so it's so busy in here it's a little overwhelming it's like everybody is on the aisle you need to be but let me show y'all some stuff i found real quick i found this cute bag it's like a bottega dupe but they actually used to sell this bag at anthropology it's cute but i don't think i'm gonna get it they also have this little truly kit for the boobs and the butt and yeah it's so cute it's many sizes but it's 30 bucks so not too shabby i'm in the bedding section and i actually want to switch out our bedding once spring comes because it's like a sherpa comforter which is cool for the you know winter fall but i want to get some color going so i actually like this blue color i think that's cute and then maybe if we do like some kind of quilt with it layered see the vision that could be cute also like the green and i like the texture this is a king and it's 59.99 what size is this so it's a full queen but it's also like 70 bucks you know but they also make this same one that i have in my cart in green so y'all let me know vote let me know if we should do blue or green those are really like our only color options like color color because um obviously like not pink or purple or anything because dante's a boy and i want to make it like gender neutral so y'all comment let me know what color we should do or maybe how we should do it if we should do like neutral with some kind of colorful quilt or something let me know I that everybody likes this Gucci Loewe Kogaya Fendi YSL lots of Fendi Fendi hmm. this Burberry Trench or China. She's a whopping $2,000 though. Be for real, TJ Maxx. All right, so we're in the car. I just actually walked down to Ulta. It's like right by TJ Maxx. And I didn't take y'all in with me, but I wasn't really looking for anything in particular, but I did get some stuff. So let's do a quick little TJ Maxx Ulta haul while we're sitting in the car. Um, the vet did call me and say, Chloe will be ready for pickup at three. And it's literally 219. So we'll leave here. And then there's like a target across from where 
the um that is so i'm thinking maybe we hit the target and that's my favorite target girl like if you know you know everybody got a favorite target that is my favorite target okay so we might hit that target before we pick up chloe because i can't bring her into target so tj maxx haul i got some tongs because yeah needed some our old ones broke and needed some tongs um these were 2 dollars so yeah but on to the more fun things i honestly only got three things from tj maxx because it just wasn't hitting how we usually be hitting and i'm like so tempted to go to the other location because i'm like i just feel like i didn't find nothing and i was really like ready to find some stuff so um i found some moisturizer though because literally i'm out of all my moisturizer and i was literally planning on going to this ulta to get moisturizer today but i found some at um tj maxx and this is a kind i used to use so i know it's a good one but it's the first aid beauty ultra repair cream y'all this was literally 12.99 it's like 20 i want to say it's probably like 24 bucks at sephora so like almost half the price um yeah this is really really good and this is four ounces so you get a lot of product and like there's literally nothing wrong with it it's sealed yeah so if you like first a beauty try your local tj maxx because yeah and then y'all know i like the belief products too and i got the belief aqua toner aqua balm hydrating toner um so yeah we can try this out actually now that i'm looking at this and thinking about it i have a mini one at home and i'm not sure if this is if this be messing with my skin hmm. I should probably return this and get the toner pads they didn't have the toner pads there though I don't know okay anyway so yeah those are the, <laughs> the three things I got the toner was $12.99 for the big bottle this is 6.75 fluid ounces I really like belief products I just can't remember if this is the toner that doesn't do do well for me so anyway got that and then at ulta i think i only got oh i got four things at ulta so i got this elf squeeze me lip balm i think this is supposed to be a dupe for the laneige one and y'all know i swear by the purple laneige um lip balm and the gummy bear scent love it love it love it and this was like four dollars i think so I got that I also got because yeah the ads got me okay Cardi everybody the Super Bowl ads everything got me the NYX duck plump I even saw a girl on TikTok try this and it really like plumped her lips so we can try this out whenever we get home I'm excited about it and it's like it has a caution and like a warning on it and everything extreme sensation so we'll give that a try y'all know i really like the Too Faced lip injection um lip plumper the uh extreme version or extra intense whatever it is because i think it really works um so yeah and then the last two things are new like a new brand to me new products new everything and it is the good molecules brand never tried any of their products but they are super affordable for skincare so i got the super peptide serum and i also got the daily brightening serum i've been wanting to like add like a vitamin c serum or something into my skincare routine but i don't know i was just in there i saw them they were super affordable like i said let me tell y'all literally the price of these oh hell no I did not know this NYX lip plump was $13. This shit better work. If this don't work, I'm literally taking it back to the store. I don't give a damn. <laughs> but the good molecule stuff, um, girl, that NYX lip gloss was more expensive than anything I got. That was so crazy to me. So the brightening serum was eight bucks and the peptide serum was 12 bucks. So uh, not bad. And 
it's one fluid ounce of each and I think yeah both of them are AM PM use yeah I don't know well we'll talk more about these I guess whenever we get home like I said I don't I've seen these products this is the packaging and everything it's pretty cute I've seen people talk about these I just never tried them and I really didn't know that they were that affordable so when I saw them in there I was like yeah yeah you're coming home with me so anyway all right let's go to our next destination let's roll all right so we're back at home we're gonna try out the elf squeeze me lip balm this is it right here um this is the applicator on it and it's like a pinky purpley kind of color when you squeeze it out it is in the scent great but my lips are so chapped right now so i'm like let's just give it a go So this is what it looks like on the lips. It smells good, it's like grapey. But do I think this is a dupe for the Laneige one that I use? No. No. The texture's different. Like, to me this is a thicker texture, but the Laneige one is more like slippery and soft and I don't know, I can't describe it but it smells really good and it gives you a good amount of like shine so for four dollars not bad i also don't think it has as much like color as the laneige one does the laneige one has like a like a light pink kind of tinge to it let me go grab it actually hold on if y'all ever thought i was lying about that laneige one baby i be going through them you can kind of see in the back of it like how much is left she's just about empty um but this is like the size comparison and uh, this one is like 17 bucks maybe and this one was four bucks but this is just let's see you kind of can't really tell but it's more of like a pink it's like a milky pinky kind of color let me see if i put it on alicia I don't know if you can tell the difference but anyway that's that i really want to try the duck plumping gloss situation not my grapes in the bag i really want to try the duck um one from nyx but i kind of want to do a tiktok so i might try to like set that up and i'll show y'all and i'll film, film a tiktok at the same time but we got an amazon packaging because mr dante broke my glass i don't know if i talked about it on here but i got these glasses from target they had them like around valentine's day so cute they had them in the clear they had them in blue and they had them in pink well i hunted clear down okay i can't tell you how many targets and stuff i went to until i finally found it there was two clear ones left y'all know i was like you're coming home with me why did this man break one yesterday I was so annoyed. So he went on Amazon immediately and ordered more. But they're not the same. And I hate to be a little itch about it, but like, it's not the same. Thank you for the effort, but it's not the same. So these are the ones that he got on Amazon. They're still cute, but like, they're not the same. This is the Amazon one compared to the target one this was big this one was pretty big like these can fit inside of it but you know you win some you lose some so these are the amazon ones they came in a pack of four and they also came with the glass straws so yeah we got some new little drinking glasses around the house 
Um, oh, and then the last thing that I want to show y'all, literally only got candles. I got two candles. Um, I really like the way these smell. This is the Yuzu Tonic scent. Come on, focus on the candle. There we go. The Yuzu Tonic. And this smells really good. It's sugared lemon and Prosecco. That's the way that they describe the scent. These just smell like lemony but sweet and sparkling-ish and just like springy that's the best way i could describe it because i was looking for like some good candles like spring candles to go with the vibe of the house you know so yeah that's the deal with that i'm about to put this laundry stuff up from earlier and actually i think i might put a load on and then um Then we might go to, we might go to um, the other TJ Maxx. Like, ugh, I know. We might go though, because I'm thinking about returning that Laneige toner, or not Laneige, that Belief toner, because I really think that's the toner that I don't like. I really can't remember, but we might go to the other one, so stay tuned for that um it's 4 17 and it's sunday so i think places close early on sundays like at six so let's get a move on it because we got places to go and things to do y'all dante just got here one two three bags of the detergent that was on so we're literally crazy i know but yeah yeah we're crazy so anyway, this is the size we normally buy. So I'm just gonna take the smaller one and put it in here. And this one is usually 128 loads. So y'all can do the math on it, but a deal is a deal. Okay, I'm at the other TJ Maxx. They don't really have that much good stuff, so I'm just in the candle section. Um, trying to find a candle, girl. Trying to find a candle. Even though I got those at Target today, but you know. So yeah, they hardly have that much good stuff, unfortunately. All right, that TJ Maxx was such a bust. Like, I'm talking such a bust, I didn't even return the toner. And I say that because the line was so long. Um, I actually was just going to exchange it and get another first day beauty um, moisturizer. I was just going to get one for Dante. Um, but it was such a bust. I was so disappointed. And also like I wasn't really looking in there like how I wanted to like super in depth because one um I want to be back home before like the sun goes down because I want to I want to put the weed the weed killer stuff down in the backyard with Dante I know random I know but whatever I want to do it and then I think I just want to be outside um and then also because the man in there it was I didn't like it I didn't like it at all the men were just giving me weird vibes like there was this one man I was on the candle aisle and I saw him like just standing like right at the end of the candle aisle like looking down and I'm like okay this is weird like maybe like people are in his way or whatever but then like he walks away and like I go towards the end of the aisle looking at the candles and he comes back and he stands in that same spot and I'm like yeah okay I'm finna get up out of here or like move from this area and then but like I see him like looking at the candles but then like looking back this way too so I'm like is he with somebody and he just trying to buy time by like looking at the can I don't know but like as soon as I moved from the candles he moved into like the same spot that I was at but like I could still see him and like when I went around like around the aisle and stuff like there were just a bunch of other men just in there by themselves and it was it was looking like they was all together you know what I mean and so I was like 
yeah no this is not the vibe for me and it's time for me to go because yeah like when men by themselves are just looking at the women's um at the women's clothing i'm like what's what's going on here where's your wife where's your girlfriend like are you just here shopping for her what what's tea i don't know it was weird for me so yeah i just left but let's go back to the house with the toner <laughs> and continue on with our sunday okay i cannot believe we're getting a toka madera right here in houston oh my god All right, just got out the shower. Face is all clean. Um, I'm back to using the La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I like this, like it never gives me any problems, any issues. It's so big and it lasts a long time. Um, I just got this one yesterday, but I split it with um, Dante. So he has one in his bathroom too. I'm trying to get him with a skincare routine, okay? okay. So anyway. So now that my skin is clean, I'm gonna go in with the toner. So this is the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrant Toner, Hydrating Toner. So this is what it looks like. Anyway, so this is step one. Oh yeah, this is what it looks like. Full size bottle. I really like Belief products. I've talked about this before, but it's for all skin types. So I'm a cotton pad kind of girl. I know some of the girls like to um, put it in the palm of your hands and I'm not doing all that. Cotton pad kind of girl. And these are the Sephora cotton pads, the big ones. I really like toners though because they're gonna like get the extra stuff off of your skin that you thought you got when you washed it. Okay, I fixed the lighting, but the toner is on. Now we're gonna go in with our acids. I'm gonna go in first with the, I think I'm going to do the super peptide serum first, just because this is for targeting the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I feel like, yeah, maybe that one should go first. <laughs> we're, we're knocking on 30. We're knocking on 30. I think the packaging of this is cute though. Cute packaging. And then also it tells you their ingredient list. Like they list it out and tell you the exact percentage of the ingredients that they use in the products. And then it also tells you when to use it. Like if you need to use it just in the morning or just in the night, this one is AM, PM, and so is the other one. Um, and it also tells you like the pH balance of it. This one has a pH balance of six. So it just says apply a few drops morning or night before oils and moisturizers let absorb for 30 seconds. So my question is, do you just use this once a day? I don't know. It said a few drops though. So this is what it looks like. I guess this is one of those things I'm gonna have to put in my hand. But like how much girl let's go let's just say that's enough that's what the tiktok girls be doing it 
be like, mm, you gotta pat it in. <laughs> okay, cool. And then we're gonna do the daily brightening serum. I think eventually I might. Oh, let absorb for 30 seconds, okay. I think it's been 30 seconds. But I think eventually I might do one in the morning and one at night. I think I'm just trying these both for y'all right now. But same thing. This one's actually more clear than the one I just did. So I guess that's interesting about that much. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna do our Ultra Repair Cream, tried and true. Like you, a little of this really goes a long way. Like I'm showing y'all this and this is actually a lot on my finger right now. So just know a little goes a long way. Scrape some of that back in there. Y'all tell me if y'all use like serums and stuff in your skin routine. Um, because like I said, I don't, but I'm gonna try to like start incorporating them into my skin routine. So yeah, let me know. Let me know which ones y'all use. All that good stuff. I noticed my skin does very well without without a lot of products. Like once you get too product heavy or too product happy, my skin be like, girl, what are you doing? cut it out you know um so yeah that's the skin routine I should have got at that TJ Maxx the, the second one I went to where I told you I didn't have nothing they did have the belief um the eye cream the eye balm and I really do like that stuff I should have got that <sighs> maybe next weekend <laughs> but anyway so yeah that's the skincare routine we'll see what happens with it we'll we'll see where it goes um but yeah I think that's probably gonna be it for this vlog honestly um I'm about to sit down fold some laundry from last weekend while this weekend laundry is going yeah I know <laughs> anyway so I'm about to do that and then I already ate earlier like I'm still full or like, not full but like I'm just not really hungry to eat a full meal so if anything I might eat like some grapes and strawberry and a poppy for dinner and then I'm about to chill and watch some YouTube videos I see McKenna uploaded a video I see she got engaged in Puerto Rico that's exciting so yeah I'm about to just chill and kick it for the rest of the evening so I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog I missed vlogging so I definitely think I'm gonna vlog next weekend because y'all next weekend it's supposed to be really nice it's supposed to be Saturday 74 and Sunday 78 so that weather that's my kind of weather okay so it's supposed to be really really nice next weekend so y'all know we're gonna be in the streets y'all know we're gonna be outside um probably hit up home depot for some plants and stuff and get out in the yard hit up some more stores get a little spring shopping in um so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye